share his word on this special occasion. I also want to thank the children's ministry leaders, the leadership of the church, and everyone for being here today. Before I start, I would like to share a word of prayer. Father, Lord God, I thank you for today. I thank you for another opportunity and another year of Children's Day. Lord, as I am about to preach your word, I pray that you guide others through this word and help them to listen and understand. And I pray that you also help me to learn something myself. I thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 This year's children's ministry theme is Unleashing the Children to Transform Their World. Based on that, today's message is titled Chosen to Transform Our World. When we met on Zoom last week, we discussed the meaning of being unleashed. We learned about some of the kingdom principles and how a kingdom child can be empowered to transform our world. Today, I would like to add to what was shared to help us grow as children. Let us read 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9 to 10, which says, But you are not like that, for you are a chosen people. You are a royal priest, a holy nation, God's very own possession. As a result, you can show others the goodness of God, for he called you out of the darkness into his wonderful light. 10. Once you, once you had no identity as a people, now you are God's people. Once you received no mercy, now you have received God's mercy. Amen. Amen. We learned that we are God's chosen generation, built to make a change. God chose us not to fit in, but to stand out as we come out of the darkness and bring light into the world. Parents are doing their best to teach us the word and give us all the moral character we need to exhibit. Teachers back it up by letting us know more about the purpose of the word in our lives and how we can let other know, others know about God. It is up to us, the children, to use our parents' and teachers' advice to transform our world. Amen. Amen. When we look at the word unleashed, it means to cause a strong or violent force to be released or unrestrained. As a chosen child, we have to be unleashed to show certain characteristics in life, like, number one, following the word of God. This is our formal foundation of growth. Before the disciples received the power from the Holy Spirit, they were first taken through the word of God by Christ himself, so they'd impact the world by being witnesses. Based on Acts 1 verse 8, if we could please read. It says, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. And you will be my witnesses, telling people about me everywhere, in Jerusalem, throughout Judea, in Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. Amen. Number two, solving situations in the mindset of Christ. As a kingdom child, we should not join groups to do bad things, but rather use our identity in Christ to bring light by doing the right things, including correcting others, being responsible, following directions, and encouraging others. These principles and structures can help us transform others through Christ. Amen. Amen. Number three, being bold and fearless to do the things of God. We must stand out in our generation. Our world is full of things that can lead us to either greatness or failure, but it's up to us to know who we are in the Lord to stand against what leads us into darkness. We must be able to say no to certain decisions that are taken against the word of God. Like Exodus 19, verse 5 to 6 says, Now, if you obey me and keep my covenant, you will be my own special treasure from among all the peoples of the earth, on earth. For all the earth belongs to me. Six, and you will be my kingdom of priests, my holy nation. This is the message you must give to the people of Israel. Amen. Number four, fearing the Lord. We must give reverence to God in everything we do and build a good relationship with him. In this way, we will show the kingdom's principles by showing love, respectfulness, acts of service, and good leadership. You might ask, how can I build a relationship with God? When you make friends, you get to know the person and what they like and don't like, using the information given to connect and get closer to them. This is like creating a bond with God. When trying to develop a relationship, you get closer to him 
through prayer and the Bible, learning what he approves of, and speaking to him daily to connect with him and make him, make him your number one priority. In this way, you will know more about him, use your acquired knowledge to teach others, and influence others to follow him. Amen. Amen. These are some of the affirmations you can repeat to know who you are. I know my identity as a child of God. I am a beloved child of God. I am a royal priesthood. I am the light of this world. I am full of power, and I am the salt of the world. Knowing who we are, we will be careful of the things we say, how we do things, and how we lead others. We must not belittle ourselves as children. God has given us so much potential. We have the power to change our world, but he begins with change of mind. Use your talent and your gift, and don't be lazy in life. Do not settle for less, but make up your mind to do greater things in life. As young as you are, let God use you. 1 Timothy 4 verse 12 says, Do not let anyone look down on you because you are young. We are empowered through the spirit that raised Christ from death. That same spirit is in us. Amen. Amen. To our parents, do not give up on us and do not limit us as well. Keep praying for us and with us. Continue to lift us when we fall. Just as an eagle trains its eaglet, keep supporting us until we can fly on our own. Malachi 4 verse 6 says, He will turn the hearts of the parents to their children and the hearts of the children to their parents, or else I will come and strike the land with destruction. Amen. The only way we can transform our world begins with having spiritual parents, leaders, or a mentor who will turn our hearts to God to continue our spiritual identity and not repeat the bad mistakes in the past. To the church, make use of our potential and create an environment that will help us be strong in the Lord to impact our world. Amen. 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 To us children, as we grow in this power of knowing our position and identity in the Lord, we must be strong in him and use the knowledge we have acquired to transform ourselves and the world at large. We must develop this knowledge and use the resources we have in our world to lead others to the light. Transformation begins with what goes into our minds from a very young age. Do not forget who you are. Be strong in the Lord and his mighty power. Ephesians 6 verse 10. God bless you all. Amen.